Hello my friend, Lee here, coming at you from a very hot and steamy Virginia right now. I just got back from Vegas yesterday, uh, an amazing trip which I want to just tell you about in a minute as well as this video is about, but ultimately this video is about light, about letting your own light shine and being the greatest version of, your of yourself, but I'll come to that in a second because I want to talk about another kind of light, about sunlight and chasing that light, uh, chasing the light which is a, a massive part of this weekend, how the whole thing started and how it includes an old friend of mine I hadn't seen for years and how we ended up in Vegas on the same weekend, two Stokies from you know from the same town in northern England, ended up in Vegas, hadn't seen each other for years, old mates, grew up together, all that kind of stuff. So kind of a dual message here today but ultimately the whole thing is about trusting letting go and letting being, being, being the greatest version of yourself and letting your own light shine which I'll come to in a second but let me just tell you about the weekend to start off with so and how it started out and how I ended up meeting up with Pete and how that, how that whole thing transpired right so we're going to this event um, and uh, I booked the, booked the tickets for the flight out way ahead of time, way in advance. So I, I had no idea what time I was flying, all that kind of stuff on Thursday. Um, so I, on thir Wednesday night, I was checking the flight times, and it turns out I was getting into Vegas late, which I planned anyway because obviously, because so Kate could be back and she can take care of the kids and that kind of stuff. So I wasn't leaving till six thirty. I here out of Charlottesville, bouncing down to Charlotte, and now a quick, quick flight hop down to Charlotte, North Carolina, and then out to Vegas, right? But when I get, get in Vegas, I was going to miss the last shuttle bus to the hotel, and we were staying in this incredible resort off Strip, the Red Rock Res Spa and Resort. And we recommend it if you're ever going to Vegas and you want to be off strip as opposed to on strip, you want to get away from the craziness. Recommend the Red Rocks, a little bit more refined, a little bit very cool, kind of you know, kind of resort, like kind of more lower key and, and uh, a little bit more refined, I guess. But anyway, so I'm checking the time, since I'm, I'm missing the last shuttle bus, right? And uh, which at first I was like, oh man, what a pain in the ass that is. That means I'm going you know, because it's a free shuttle buses, right? At the hotel means I'm going to have to get a cab, cab now, which is like. I don't know, 50, 60 bucks, whatever, out, out to, you know, off, off, off strip to the hotel. So I thought, you know what, this is meant to happen. There's a reason why I'm getting there later, missing the last show bus. I'm meant to meet somebody. Something's going to happen. I'm just going to let go and trust. Okay, and that's what, that's what that's what this message is about. It's about letting go and trusting, trusting yourself, trusting that that you know that the you know the universe, the powers that are out there, that you know that all going to come together, and things happen if you just let go and you're on the right path. So what happens the next day, next morning? Um, I, you know, I, well, at some point I get on Facebook, just scrolling through the Facebook feed, and one of the first things I see is Pete, my old mate, who I don't see that much on Facebook. He isn't on Facebook that much, right? We don't, you know, we don't, not, don't have a lot of mutual friends, so I don't see his stuff that often. And uh, he's posting from Heathrow Airport in London, saying he's checking in and he's on his way to Vegas. I'm like, no way! I'm like, leave a, leave a comment, dude. I'm going to be in Vegas this weekend. So we end up having a Facebook conversation. Um, you know that we're both going to be there, and we said, we are. Right, let's meet up tonight because I said I'm going to be busy for the weekend. He's there. He was going out for a week, and he sent his message back saying, um, I'm going to be, at, I'm going to be at the Grand. Can he was out going to the Grand Canyon for a week, but he was staying in Vegas for a couple of nights because he was doing doing his photography, which he says passion what he loves to do. And he was chasing the light to the Grand Canyon, right? And if you've ever been to the Grand Canyon, which I have, a couple of times. Uh, I've watched the sunset of the Grand Canyon. It's an incredible, incredible experience because the light there is just amazing. The rocks change from, you know, a yellowy kind of colour to, to deep orange. You know, they look like they've changed colour themselves and the sun's going down. It's amazing. So Pete was chasing the light. That's what he said to him. Chasing the light to, to the Grand Canyon. And that kind of, you know, those three words stuck with me. I'm flying out. So, you know, go down to Charlotte, you know, bounce down there, quick flight, and then get on the main flight four and a half hours out to Vegas. The whole flight was amazing. I always, whenever I go on a flight, I always try and get a window seat if I can, because I just love just staring out at the planet down below and just connecting with it. Because it's just we get so wrapped up in the daily lives and the day to day, and you know we just aren't conscious of the fact that we're part of this living ecosystem, this planet which keeps us here, keeps us living, keeps us you know, surviving on this planet with the, you know, the atmosphere and the you know the, the, the ecology that we, we we're part of. We have, a, you know, astronauts have an amazing appreciation for this. I'm going to do some blog posts coming down the line about about you know, the whole kind of perspective, an overview perspective. But so the greatest, you know, the furthest overview we can get as humans is being on a plane, right? So this flight, well, I'm on the flight, and the whole way, whole way out to Vegas, virtually, apart from the last kind of three quarters an hour, hour, whatever, we're chasing the light. We're flying west as the sun was setting. So the sun was setting for like literally three hours. It was amazing. I took some photographs with it with, the, with this phone, right? And what, I don't want it to come out like I haven't looked at them yet. So I'll post it on the blog post. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook or something, click through, check out the blog post. There'll be some there'll be some photographs there. So I was, I've got these three words stuck in my head. Pete was coming out to chase the light to the Grand Canyon to take his you know, take his pictures with his you know, following his passion, his photography, and I was chasing the light out to Vegas, out to Nevada. It was amazing. One of the most amazing flights I've ever had. I literally just sat there for three hours. I was just staring out the window, couldn't take my eyes off because I was just connecting you know, with the amazingness of the planet that's down below that we're part of. Because most of us, you know, as we're surviving in our daily lives, we miss that. 
we miss that connection with, with Mother Earth, with this amazing rock that we live on that, that sustains us, you know. And we, unfortunately, as a, you know, as a, as a race, as humanity, don't sustain it. That's, a, you know, that's another, another video, another story right there. So, get to Vegas, meet Pete. Uh, well, actually, get get the get a sh jump on the shuttle bus to his hotel, the, the Excalibur, where which is on Strip, where he's staying, um, and uh, we have a few beers, you know, kind of reminiscing, catching up over for uh, what's gone on in our lives for the last few years. You know, we've both had a lot of stuff. I mean, he's had you know some some you know, tragic events in his life and with family members uh, passing on, and you know we've moved out here to the U.S. after traveling on the U.K. last year, and it's great, you know, it's made life stuff that happens. You know, when you haven't seen each other for for a few years, you catch up. Get to the event for the next day. An amazing weekend, and if you were there this weekend, be part of it. And hopefully, we, we, you know, I saw you this weekend. If I didn't, then I'll see you in 90 days in uh, in, uh, in Orlando, down at uh, you know the Disney kind of resort area where we're going to be in 90 days at the next event. But if you're not part of EN, you're watching this, you're just someone who knows me stuff, it, you know, this it's an amazing, amazing community. And we were there this weekend, the event was called Rise, which is kind of appropriate because this this whole Thrive project that I'm kind of re-kicking in with right now, uh, after the event, having kind of gone full circle with a lot of things that stopped me from moving forward because I was focusing on my purpose and my, what I'm here and what I'm born to do and why I'm doing this. Um, I'm, getting, I'm digressing here, but I'll come back to the event in a minute. I'll come back to letting your own light shine, but it's all connected. Because um, I started this Thrive Project earlier this year, and you put the blog together, wrote a manifesto, which you can check out on the, on the, uh, the thriveproject.com if you haven't seen it. Um, but I got, stu I got stuck on the last part of it, because you know, the Thrive Project, this whole thing's about living my greatest life, about truly living my greatest life, and inspiring, uplifting, empowering other people, maybe yourself, to live there. Because I, I believe that we don't, us as, as humans in the Western world, in the modern world right now, we just survive, you know, we go through our day-to-day -day lives, you know, in a humdrum job that we probably don't aren't passionate about, you know, looking forward to the weekend or looking forward to the next vacation, holiday, or whatever, we just survive, and that, honestly, as far as I'm concerned, that is not live. that's not truly living, that's not thriving, that's why this is called the Thrive Project, it's about living my greatest life, and empowering, inspiring, and uplifting others to do the same. So I was at this Rise event this weekend where it was at the whole, you know, the whole kind of feeling, the vibe of the event was about people breaking free and rising up. That's what the Thrive Project, I've got kind of tagline with the Thrive Project, rise up, break free, change the game. Well, what game? I'll come into that. I mean, the rig game that's been played out here, you know, in, in the Western world where, you know, the capitalist system where the money's controlled by the few at the top and everyone else gets kind of screwed while, well, you know, the game is rigged. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. That's why I'm driving this. That's why I'm part of EN. That's why I'm going to events. That's why I'm driving the Thrive Project. So that my life isn't, isn't controlled by that rig game, that I'm stepping outside of it. And when you do that, you change it. You become part of the change when you step outside of it, and that's what this is. This is about for me. That's what the Thrive Project is about. It's about driving my health, which I kicked in this morning with a 12-week program, which I'm going to blow my fucking health through the roof. It's driving my health, driving my wealth through my online kind of endeavours with it, with with the end, um, the personal development, continuous, daily, ongoing self-growth. You know, because if we aren't growing, if we aren't moving forward, then we're regressing, we're going backwards. And most people, when we get to when we finish school, finish university, whatever, we don't keep learning, we don't keep growing, we don't keep expanding our mind and what we're what, knowing, that what we're capable of, and expanding our, our knowledge base. The fourth thing is, is family relationships. You know, I miss my family here this weekend. The fourth thing that the Thrive Project is about. I miss my family, and I'm determined to get my family, Katie and the kids, out to an event or experience and be part of this. The next one's in Disney in 90 days in Orlando, so if you're watching this, hold me to it. I'm going to get my family there because I'm on a mission to make that happen. Right? It's going to be tricky because we've got the dogs. We can't leave with anybody because denali has got some health issues, and she's at the end of her days right now, um, which is the whole of the story. But it's got a lot of challenges, but you know what? If I want it badly enough, I'll make it happen, right? Um, and I'm determined to get the kids. Give me all Lando and we're staying in a Disney hotel. And I've got to get the kids down there to Disney so they can check that out because they'll have an amazing time. So anyway, the fourth thing about this is about is about reaching out to old friends like Pete, new friends, maybe yourself and family, the relationships. Fifth thing, the adventure, the daily adventure of life. So I truly believe that we don't live our life as, as a thriving adventure. We just we just keep plodding through day to day, right? The last thing and ultimately the thing which stopped me in my tracks earlier this year was purpose. It's all very well saying, yeah, I'm here, I'm doing this and to drive my life forward and to, you know, to create a better, you know, better future for my, my children's children. But ultimately, is that, is that enough? You know? Is that enough I just focus on my own shit? You know, while, while the world's going to pot, while the, you know, the, the people who run the show, the systems that, that are in place don't serve us, don't serve the planet, don't serve our, our children's children, don't serve the future. You know, and that's why I've kind of really stepped up with regards to my activism. You know, protecting the planet, being part of. Oh, gotta pause the phone. Hold on, be right back. 
Okay, I'm back. Jonas just pressed it. Come here, little monkey. Tell me, tell me sorry for pressing start again. The phone just rang. Do you want to bump with the phone? Who was on the phone, mate? Come tell, tell, tell everybody watching who was on the phone. They can't see it. Bend down. They can't see it. Who was on the phone? Who was it? Mommy. His mommy was calling once she... Eddie, shush. Yeah. Now the dog's barking. All right, I've completely lost my train of thought in this video, but, you know, it's getting pretty long anyway. But bottom line is, you know, he's about kicking it back in with this, uh, with this, this thrive project. Eddie! Right, so the boys are here now, all hell's going to break loose, I'm going to have to cut, cut this loose soon, but coming, coming to the end of the story, right, the end of the whole mission about, that uh, whole mission? Well, the Thrive Project mission is about living my life and rising up and empowering other people, right? So I'm at the event, the biggest takeaway from the event was, was one of my favourite quotes that, that Chris, I oh, the phone's going nuts, hold on, Chris, um, I don't know if you can see the pair down here, anyway, one of the, my favourite quotes that Chris Rochelle said from stage was a, was a quote from Marion Williamson. Um, which often gets um, attributed to uh, Nelson Mandela, but it's from her book Return to Love, um, which is a book about the Course in Miracles, and uh, you know, talking about let your own light shine, and that's what this is ultimately about. This, this, you know, Chris kind of quoted it from stage, which is my favourite quote. I love it. It's, it's empowering, and you know, it's just, it's it's the ultimate message, really. You know, that we're here to let our own light shine, here to be the greatest version of ourselves. So when we do that, when we let our own light shine, you, you also, you imagine, I first got to know that know the quote from. Uh, from uh, the movie, I've got what it's called now. Ma ma uh, brain, brain cramp here, but um, we let our own light shine. You know, we unconsciously give other people. I'm, I'm butchering the quote, but we give other people the, the permission to shine too. You know, maybe by me driving this, driving my life, driving the Thrive Project, these all these these aspects of my life, my health, my wealth, self development, family and friends, the, you know, the relationships, the adventure of life, and my purpose, what I'm here to do. When I do that, when I drive, the impact that I can have on countless people. You know, and making a difference in this world is, un is unknown. You just don't know what impact you're going to have. And by me playing small and not putting this tripod out there, then I'm not letting my own light shine. So what this whole thing, this whole weekend was about light, chasing the light, the Grand Canyon like Pete was doing. You know, letting go, like I did the night before, letting go of, of the kind of the expectation, just trusting, trusting that everything will work out. There's a reason why I'm yeah. getting there late and that kind of yeah. stuff. Just a sec, mate. Well, I want to Okay, I'll be there in a sec. I'll be there guys, so I'm chasing the light out to, to Nevada, in Vegas and Nevada, so I can hear countless people Dad. from stage shining their lights. Mate, I'm shooting a video, can you just wait a second? You haven't even got shoes on. Letting our own light shine, you know. When we do that, when we do that, that's how we truly live our greatest life. That's how we thrive, that's what the Thrive Project is about. Not surviving, you know, not just plodding through life, it's about thriving. And the ultimate way to thrive in our lives is to let our own light shine, be the greatest version of ourselves, and don't worry about all what other people think. And that's why these videos are going to be coming out on a daily basis, Lee Daily Edge. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. If you're on Facebook, whatever, click through to the blog. There'll be a link below this video, through to the Pro Thrive Project, where you can check out the blog and the whole story about the, the going, going to the event and all that good stuff. I'll see you on tomorrow's Daily Edge, folks. And look out for more. Look out for me letting my own light shine so I can, I, can, I can unconsciously empower you and other people to let your own light shine too. That's what it's about, about living our greatest lives, about thriving. Have a great day, my friend.